Hello there. Been frosty, but the sun melting it all now. Very bright. Sunny. What have we got here? Did I see a bear there sitting there? Who's that? Check this. What's that? Welcome to the continuing story. In the last one I got up to where I decided to meet the director. But before I explain about that meeting, I'll just explain something else. If this is a very complicated thing. The structure of it is very complicated. In that branch, most of the DDs are leaders as well as DDs. Because they're those kind of people that just love to have some kind of control, most of them. Not all of them, most of them are. And what happens every six weeks or so, there's a DD's meeting that they have and discuss the different departments and what they're going to do. And it's followed by a leaders meeting. And since most of the DD's are leaders, they stay for that meeting as well. But prior to me meeting the director, there was a DD's meeting and a leader's meeting. Leader's meeting always follows the DD's meeting. So we turned up the leaders for the meeting. Just as all the DD's were leaving, putting the coats on and going, which I found strange. So when we goes in to see the director for our meeting, it was a very short one. One of the first things he said was, okay, I've asked the DDs to stand down. Some of, them, some of them have been here far too long in the positions, which is according to some Martin rules. There's nothing wrong with that. I think most of us would have agreed with that. It went on about a bit more business, and then the meeting ended, to which the other leaders came out and thought, that was strange, see the way they all got off? Weird. Anyway. Talk started then, people was, it was getting out then slowly. It was getting out and about, definitely. You could feel it in the branch, you could feel an atmosphere. Turns up for the meeting on the Saturday, it was in the branch. People that were on duty already knew the kind of thing that was going on, so it was okay. We had the meeting upstairs. So I said to him, What happened? He said, They've, without telling me, put a vote of no confidence in against me. Plus, an allegation of inappropriate conduct with a person on the shift. I was aghast at this. I said, well, how did you find out? He said, they rung me off the office. <coughs> I said, so what happened then? He said, well, I did that meeting with the DDs. He said, no one mentioned anything, and at the end of it I just said, should we talk about the fucking big elephant in the room now? To which the heads have called a, a volunteer care, put a head on the table and burst out crying. Now, let me tell you about the heads of volunteer care. She's an apprentice to the road to lady, and most of all, 
to T, hidden hand. She made the call. Now you've got to really think about this now. The head of volunteer care is the person that cares for the volunteers. She runs a small team to look after the volunteers. Of course, the small team consists of at my time there. When this happened, three people. One of them had trained. It was pretty useless. But he worked in the same place as her. Hence why she brought him on board. And the other one... I won't even mention the other one. Suffice to say... That she was just a two-faced bitch. She actually interviewed me. I became a Samad. <coughs> now all these people are always sacking and sweet. Now, I don't know about you, but throughout my life, nobody's nice all the time. Nobody. And you really have to have your doubts when they are. There's usually a hidden agenda. I'd much prefer people to be straight out with you. So, you've got the head volunteer kit, who I will call C. And this really is a snake. I spoke to a guy who trained her, actually, and he told me within 12 months of being trained, she was walking around the building looking down on him like he was scum. And that's basically what it was like. So, I can't get it through my head. How the head of volunteer care can make an allegation like that. But I think the worst thing I can't get through my head is how people would think that behaviour is okay. Now, I come from a rough part of Liverpool. I've met a lot of assholes. And I mean assholes. I've never met anyone who would act like these people. Nobody. The scurrilous. They have no morals. And like all these these stories go, you always find out that they're like Christians or something. You know, the type who lick the altar rails, making everything nice. When really, the scum. <coughs> when you finish talking to these people, the kind of people, you have to count your fingers. Killed by kindness. Killed by care. That should be a motto. <coughs> anyway. So we talked, me, me and uh, the, DD, the, the director, sorry. And I said, what are you going to do? He said, well, I'm getting, I'm asking them to stand down. I want them out. I want some new blood in here. And he said to me, do you want to do something? To which I replied, no, I don't. What I want is fairness. I want people to be able to join the different groups without having to be passed by this group and their sycophants. Who do they think they are? And in no uncertain terms. I told them, I said, get rid of them. Who the fuck are they? The organisation, I said, not even good on the phone. I've been on duties with some of them. They're rubbish. They don't get what it's about. They have no idea of what it's about. But what they are is these pseudo middle class people who think, oh, I'll do something in the community and get involved. Because they ain't got a life, really. The point is, they haven't got a life at all. They know nothing of how the world works. Nothing. They think, you know, something like Wikipedia is the font of all knowledge. That's the extent of the stupidity of these people. 
anyway. Director decided that that was going to be it, and that's what was going to happen. But of course, I'd been on duties with people who'd been here a long time. And I'd heard things, and they said it won't happen. It will not happen. People have tried to defeat these before. You won't get away with it. And I knew that. But I didn't know quite to the extent of how far it went. So the meeting ended. And we returned to our duties as normal. And that's when everything really started taking off. Well, before I end this, I will say in that meeting, I said to him, do you have any problem with the truth? Are you going to tell the truth of what's happened? People should know. I said to him, you should call a branch meeting, but make sure all the branch have to turn up. Because I knew that if all the branch heard the extent what these were like, then they would change things for the better. But of course, if you have a branch meeting and they organise it, only their cohorts will turn up. No one will turn up. So it's a one-sided thing all the time. So we discussed that and left it at that. And I'm going to leave it there. It really starts getting in scurrilous now from this point on. So that's the day today, look at that. Here we go, there's the sky. I'll see you again. Bye bye now.